up everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. We're taking a look at a sneaker that's set to release later this month. But before we get into that sneaker, I need a couple things from you. I need you guys to hit that like button on today's video. Sub up to the channel if you haven't already. And do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload right here on this channel. And please leave a comment right down below in the comment section let me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker we're about to look at today uh the sneaker is receiving uh some hype this is the first time that uh in a while actually we having some hype on the air john retro one you bring out the box you already know what it is you got that carolina blue all over box with the black Nike emblem or logo on top. There's the box tag. I'm gonna read it to you. It says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG and the color is University Blue, Black and White. This is my personal size 14 and these will retail at 180 US dollars. Nike did have a shock drop on these uh, Congrats to everyone that hit on the shock drop as I do show you that live stamp right there in red. Let's set this aside. Uh, I did not hit on the shock drop, but uh, shout out to the plug. You got this glossy paper on one side, a little rough on the other. And let's look. No eye. CM sticker inside the box. Mm, very surprising. Uh, I'm not sure what's their protocol for uh, why CM stickers in Jordan 1 boxes, but uh, this is the box. Let's get into the shoe. Yes, guys, this is a look at the Air Jordan Retro 1 UNC 2. This is an on feet look. Uh, sizing on these, you can go true to size. Uh, they did come with the black laces in them, as you saw earlier in the video. But I opted to try one of the UNC laces, and I got a pair of white laces from one of my other Jordan ones. So let me know which lace you like the best. But this is a on-foot look of the sneakers. Let me know what y'all think. Comfort wise, I went through the size. They're pretty comfortable that way, in my opinion. Uh, if you lack a lot of room, I still don't feel there's a need to go up in size on these, but they do fit pretty good through the size. So, this is an on foot look at the Air Jordan 1 UNC toe. This is the Air Jordan Retro 1 UNC toe. Let me know your thoughts and comments on the sneaker. The materials on my pair are very nice, soft, and tumble. But before we get into all those materials, a little background on where the sneaker came from. It is part of the uh, famous, iconic silhouette, the Air Jordan 1 silhouette, which debuted to us in 1985. And the colorway UNC comes from Michael's alma mater, College, North Carolina Tar Heels. He was a good player in college, but he wasn't the only one that was good on the team. Notice I didn't say great because not too many people are great in college, but he did have some good teammates and well noted. He had a number one draft pick he played with by the name of James Worthy, goes by the name of Big Game James, Maybe you heard of him, maybe you haven't. He also played with Sam Perkins, he was another well-noted NBA player, and also played with Matt Daugherty. If you know him, he played with the Cleveland Cavaliers along Hot Rod Williams and those guys and Mark Price. So uh, they did win a national title in 1982 right here in my home state of Louisiana. And uh, it's called the Caesar Superdome now. They won it in 1982 over, I believe, Patrick Ewing and the Georgetown Hoyas. They did win that national title. So, Jordan did win a title at the collegiate level, and that's where we get the UNC to colorway from. Here we go, guys. Let's get into the sneaker. This sneaker is made 
uh, you have a white uh, quarter panel right here. As you can see, the leather is, you know, it's it's decent, decent leather right here on the quarter panel. You got black swoosh on here. You have black lace eyelets, and you down to your mud guard. You do have a uh, white uh, on your midsole with university blue at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole of the sneaker. You have an all university blue outsole. And you do look at your Wayne's logo. It is uh, puffed out right here in black. As we turn around, look at the heel of the sneaker. You do have that black padding right here on your heel. It's nice and soft to the touch. And you can see how wrinkled it is right here on that university blue around the ankle collar and right here in the gap right here as we look at the medial side of the sneaker you have that black swoosh coming around from the other side you got your uh, university blue on the heel you have white right here on your quarter panel as well as the midsole you do have black right here on your lace eyelets going down here all the way down to your mud guard University blue at the very bottom of the midsole as we get to one of my favorite parts of the sneaker the toe box Comes stuff with this tissue right here And you do have Your uh, secondary laces the university blue The brown box Jordan logo right here says shoelaces It should come like that if you're getting early pairs It's how uh it should come in this packaging right here. It may come in all the, it may come disoriented, but that's QC today for John Brand. So as long as you have it and it's authentic, uh, that's a win. Now look at that toe box. Look how soft right here. I did get a great pair. I'm very pleased with my pair that I got. The toe box right here is nice, soft, wrinkly in the University Blue colorway. Do have a black nylon tongue right here with a black woven patch with the University Blue Nike Air branding on here. And you can see back here, you do have all those nice words that Nike loves to tell you about the product. You do have a sock liner, black sock liners, nice and kind of smooth not sure what that material is and you do have a black insert with the university blue nike air branding in here you do have a size sticker in here and it does say us size 14 and let's look at the sizing tag let's see what we got here us size 14 production date december 14 2022 to january the 19th of 2023 so about a month of production uh the try to give you guys a clearer look that's only about a month and there are several uh people here on youtube advertising that there are gonna be like almost a half a million pairs that's a lot of sneakers to make in a month just my opinion but let's see what those numbers really gonna be when release day is july the uh 22nd we may get a shock drop on these i'm sorry we did get a shock drop on these we may get a sneaker pass on these and the last time we had a sneaker pass was for the uh the thunder fours when i say for us in my local area because we don't get a lot of sneaker passes we got one for the jordan for uh thunder and we had them for the uh the uh, jordan 3 uh reimagined the, uh white cement so we're starting to get more sneaker passes in my area so i'm very thankful for that and i'm gonna be on the lookout for that if it does happen in my area so this is the sneaker let me know your thoughts on it leave that in the comment section and like i always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker i'm titanic feet jack signing out <laughs>